Hey Marvel fans, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host Naaman, this is The Nerdy Lair. And we have to talk about Secret Wars and the massive rumors out there for the film and what exactly these rumors mean, not only for Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty, but for the rest of the entire multiverse saga in general. So in this video, using these rumors and some of my own speculation and even fan theories, I think we can start to understand what exactly Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty to a lesser extent will look like and just how exactly all this will work going forward. So starting off, I want to talk about the leaks, right? Because the leaks for Secret Wars have been going crazy, right? And I do want you to keep in mind that the movie's three years away, and it could easily be pushed back even further, 2027, 2028, right? So take these leaks with a grain of salt, but also realize that these leaks are kind of the first leaks to start to build a foundation for what this movie's going to be and what to expect from Secret Wars. And I mean, I think this goes without saying, but there's going to be heavy spoilers in here. I mean, it could potentially spoil the whole Secret Wars thing for you. So if you don't like that type of stuff, you would get out now. This is the time. So basically, the leaks go as follows, right? We're going to have a group of Avengers from King Dynasty. They're going to lose. King's going to win. And due to reasons I'm going to talk about in an Ant-Man video I'm going to make, he will be a Beyonder level threat, right? That's kind of the vibe. There was a lot of confusion when the leak first came out, but like he's going to be the Beyonder. How is that going to work? I think he's going to have the power of the Beyonder, like the Cosmic Cube or something like that, or he's going to be Beyonder level, right? Like he's not actually the Beyonder, but he has Beyonder level powers, right? So basically, the movie is going to follow an in-game sort of pattern, right? And King Dynasty is kind of going to follow an Infinity War pattern. The heroes are going to lose, Kang's going to win, and he's going to be the villain of Secret Wars. And there will be a small group of Avengers that survive into Secret Wars from King Dynasty after they lose. And they will meet up with people like Toby, Spider-Man, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, RDJ, Iron Man. And those three will be kind of the main characters. And the point of view will be through them in Secret Wars. They will be the characters we follow. And similar to Endgame, like I mentioned before, it's going to be a multiversal heist grabbing characters from different universes, but like they're going to be legacy characters. Now, I also see them getting like alternate versions of characters, like what if type characters. But for right now, we're going to focus on the legacy characters because there have been rumors, like heavy rumors for people like Fastbender, Magneto, like that's the Magneto they're going to go with if they go with Magneto, RDJ, like I mentioned before, Toby, Andrew Garfield, Nick Cage, Ghost Rider, Chris Evans, Captain America, or or Human Torch, or both, and of course Hugh Jack Wolverine, who's already coming back for Deadpool 3. And basically, how it goes is, like, they'll be grabbing them from their universes, from the Fox X-Men universe, from the Fantastic Four universe, from the Sony Spider-Man universe. They'll be grabbing them up, and they'll actually be led by a He Who Remains will be on the side of the good guys, but due to timey-wimey reasons, is literally how it's been explained to me, it will be his first time through, so he's never experienced Loki. He did, never experienced, I don't think, the multiversal war, the first one. So he'll be coming through kind of brand new, but he'll be helping this group of, like, multiversal Avengers that are led by RDJ, Toby, and Hugh Jackman. Wow. Now, I don't know about you, but if these leaks are true, I think Secret Wars could be one of the greatest, not only movies, like comic book movies, but just movies in general that I've ever seen. Along with the big spectacle, the fan service, all of the things we want as fans, but this story sounds amazing. I think the visuals for this movie are going to be insane, traveling to different multiverses. I mean, there was a rumored scene that was going to be similar to Endgame, where you have all these different Avengers from different universes coming through all these different portals at Kang. I mean, sign me up. Like, I'm so ready for this movie. I'm so down. And I think this movie could be as close as the MCU movies ever come to be in the comic book counterpart. Like, I think this might be Marvel's best adaptation yet. And I'm very excited for that. And I'm just very excited to start talking about, like, leaks and theories and all this stuff for Secret Wars. It feels like Endgame, but, like, we're three years away from the movie. We have so much time to talk about and think about what exactly this movie is going to be. And I, I, I'm just so ready. I think this movie is going to just knock everybody's socks off. I don't know if it'll have the same type of fervor or hype as Endgame, but I do think it will be a better movie than Endgame and a better experience. And I just think it's so fun to potentially having all these iconic characters coming back and potentially grabbing them from like iconic scenes from the Fantastic Four movies, the X-Men movies, the friggin' Blade movies. Like you can grab people from like scenes in those movies, which is very similar to what we see in Avengers Endgame when they go back to 2012 and we see like Cap vs. Cap. And there's also leaks that like Kang is going to be grabbing up his own villains. 
sign me up. Like, that sounds so crazy, so epic, and exactly what I want from a movie version of Secret Wars. And I think the biggest question, right, what is going to happen at the end of Secret Wars? Like, what is going to happen after Secret Wars? Are they going to reboot, do a soft reboot like the comics, and bring in people like RDJ, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, the X-Men, like, are they, is he going to streamline all this Marvel movie stuff and make it one sacred universe with all these people that are now just in the Marvel universe? Like, maybe an Eddie Brock Venom from the Sony universe? I don't know. The possibilities are endless. And I'm just really excited and just super hype about all the possibilities, about all the rumors, the theories, and all the speculation that's going to be going on in the next three years. And I'm really pumped for projects like Ant-Man, Quantumania, Loki Season 2, Deadpool 3, all these projects that are going to give us more hints as to what's going to be happening, more keys, if you will, to unlock the secrets of what's going to be happening in Secret Wars and Kang Dynasty. And I'm super excited. If you agree or disagree, leave your opinions down below. Peace out.